Well, hi. Thank you for staying with us. You are still watching the Lydia's Breakfast Show in this here town, in this here city. I'm trying to say the whole world. I'm confident like that. So in the morning on channel Y254. If you have been with us since the Beningi, thank you for staying. We still have so much for you. One more time, if you will allow me to tell you how you can interact with us at Y254 on Facebook, Y254 channel on X, formerly Twitter, Y254 underscore channel on X. The gram, I love is using it, PL threads, Y254 channel, TikTok, you know, YouTube, and all those wonderful, wonderful things. In case another one comes up, Nas Jarada kindly, Mujue Samu Times, Minim Shamba. So, yeah, but either way, we'll be there, Y254 channel, and you're always, always, always welcome to interact with us. Now, we have a question, and I am on Facebook. We're asking, Toto Wako Wakwanza Utamuitaje? Yeah. That is what we're asking. <laughs> what you have answered is, I have Alibaba Kuske says, Moise Bridgewell represented as you. Pablo Moja says, watching from Rero, Young Zombies. Ha, Zombie Tena. I like your handle. Watching from Mombasa, Kisaoni. John Hesbon says, watching from Kakamega. Nenda Nawakati says, watching from Nevasha. Waweru wa keyboard. Hey, familiar name. Danny, I see you. BC, Jason. Eh, when you have uh, Jamani Jibuaraka, we just want to copy. <laughs> <laughs> Kwani wako ndo anaiba. <laughs> Raskalevi says watching from Kisi Nyanchwa Massive Bus. Makavela says innocent Mwanganu. All right. A man, James, a top fan. Aya, uzuri hata usipopiganiwa na wasichana, wewe unapiganiwa na conductor pale kwa stage. Can you focus, Nima James? <laughs> That's a question kindly. We have Savage ZZ. Eh? Twitter to Savage. I don't know how to pronounce that other one. That's Kisi Massive to Kondani. Uh -huh. Kizito Nyongesa says, Good morning, watching from Mwanda, Bongoma County. Kamau Musenango says, Good morning, Pamoja Sana, Hapa, Kiamwangi, Division, Katondo South. Benito Masai says, Watching all the way from Kitui West side, Za Kangwe, Kangolia. Where is that? Nitu me a pin. Me even at Kakutembe town. I think I'm going to start with places like this. Eh, eh. Ademilo Kingeru Magumu. Ah, another top fan. Ah, Sasez Nigani. Marry a man who is older than you so that by the time you're losing your beauty, he's also losing his eyesight. Ah, situaje tu apu bus. But please do keep commenting. We still have a couple of hours left on the show. A couple of very, very exciting and riveting hours, if I may add. Now, we have one segment called The Strength of a Woman. Not literally congestina strength, but basically celebrating women all over the place. So, kuna kwangana shore wa shamba, shore wa sijui nini. So, today we have shore for the flowers. And she is just as beautiful as a flower truly is. Now, I will allow her to introduce herself. Uki comment kindly. Usi di comment evi to mingi mingi. Ask questions that have mannerisms. Be okay. Conduct yourself in a proper manner. Ni mesema ni mrembo, lakini usi tusumbue. Sawa. Hashtag WCW. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm good. Welcome to the show. I'm feeling quite great, actually. Thank you for asking. Yeah. Would you please introduce yourself to the people? Hi, my name is Mili. I run a company called Blooming Flowers and Gifts, mm -hmm. where we deal with flowers mainly. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. First of all, the, is it is the name a coincidence, or you know, because the flower blooms, so it's blooming flowers? Uh, yeah. Coincidence. It's a coincidence. I wanted something to you know, to show that the flower blooms, mm. and also we wanted to add a bit of gifts, mm -hmm. but we are mainly a flower shop, mm -hmm. so the different. Uh, the difference between a gift shop and a flower shop is we deal more on floral designs for hotels, restaurants, oh, wow. weddings, mm -hmm. and we uh, attend competitions. So wow. that's what we are doing. And the gifts part is just we, c we have a few gifts to give. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah. So that's the main flower shop okay. thing. Yeah. I'm very interested in the competitions, but before that, uh, how, tell me how long you've been in business. Uh, well, we start, I started Blooming Flowers, uh, mm -hmm. let's say, almost seven years ago. Mm -hmm. And then after that, I went for further studies mm -hmm. where I, um, I learned more about flowers and plants. Then I just came and picked it up where I left. Yes. So yes. Went to school for <laughs> yes. It. Yeah. I was going to ask. Seven years is is Long predates time. COVID. So yeah, what happened? COVID. That, what happened during that COVID time? I'm, I'm assuming 
the so we were was, still working. Uh -huh. We were still working, but we had not yet opened our branches. So we were just laying the foundation mm -hmm. on how we are going to do the F Blooming Flowers Network and how we are going to talk um, to merge with Teleflora and mm -hmm. uh, yeah, bring the best flowers to Kenya. Okay. Yes. So if maybe you were talking to people who have no idea about this particular industry, who is Teleflora and, and how did you get into connection with them? So, uh, so when it comes to floriculture, mm -hmm. there are some companies that were formed long time ago and um, like almost eight, like 80 Teleflora eight years ago. Mm -hmm. And um, it's because we uh, in Kenya, we do plant the flowers, mm -hmm. but we export most of it. Mm -hmm. So it's this culture of gifting flowers and using flowers is uh, quite new. Mm -hmm. We are not yet matured into it, and there's still gaps. Mm -hmm. And I feel like uh, that's uh, where we come in. We want to fill those gaps. So you'll find that uh, companies that are 100 years old, they are abroad, but mm -hmm. they deal in flowers. So Teleflora, for example, is a um, network of florists. Mm -hmm. So a network of florists, basically, it means that uh, you are registered in that, mm -hmm. you're a member of that Teleflora. Mm -hmm. And it means when, let's say you have someone in the US mm -hmm. and you want to make an order. Mm -hmm. So long time ago, they used to just place an order. We didn't have the internet. So you just uh, place an order with them, then they call their florist in the US. Mm -hmm. So it still works the same right now. Uh, instead of going online looking for flowers, you can just come to Blooming Flowers, mm -hmm. say you want to purchase in the US, and this is oh, the wow. address, mm -hmm. and then I will reach out to our uh, network member in the US or the specific city mm -hmm. that you mentioned. Then your flowers will be delivered by a local florist. Wow. So two things happen here. Mm -hmm. You get to get uh, extra revenue, and then we promote the local florists. Mm -hmm. So you find like now our network, mm -hmm. if you want to uh, deliver to Kisi, Meru, uh, Nyeri, we have a local florist there mm -hmm. that is trained with us. Mm -hmm. So we just call them and then they will make the delivery. It's still their business mm -hmm. and it's, uh, it's, it's just that they are me members of Blooming Flowers. Mm -hmm. So they, st they get all, all these orders from us, mm -hmm. and then now we do the marketing abroad, uh, marketing within the country, mm -hmm. so that um, even the last, uh, like uh, even the florists in small, small towns also get to, you know, reap the benefits of being a florist mm -hmm. and to learn more what's, uh, what's trending, what's new. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's, wow, that sounds yeah. quite lovely. So, for example, if I was, can you someone to a Kweli wa kituwa kisiwa na juwa wa kutumia mauwa, <laughs> mani ndizi ito. Ah, mani You'll be surprised. Like, wow, wa kisiri wa romantic. Hey, okay, yeah. that, that is a shock. Okay, yeah. I'm learning something every day. It's a yeah. very good day to learn. Mm. Okay, I don't... There, there's not. a florist in Meru too. Wa, wa Meru? <laughs> huh? When I'm talking to you, customer, you know, go back when you want to react. Wow, mm. okay. Yeah. Very good job. Ata Nyeri? Yeah, we have a Nyeri florist as well. How many was you going to ask you? No. How many? How many? Hey, okay. All right. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. So let me just backtrack it a little bit. It's, it's, I, I have seen different cultures. Yeah. And I can attest that you are very right. It's a very new thing to us to express ourselves by sending flowers. Yeah. Kama ni mawa ni amazishi. Na kwanga kwanza yu around. Yes. Ama ya arusi. That's the only time we know flowers. Yeah. And Valentine's. Na yu ni mawa moja. Siyati ni mingi. So really the concept of expressing oneself or just basically appreciating flowers is not something that we are ingrained yeah. to experience but then you brought up also hotels so yeah. tell me how that works like and then i'm assuming it, it's a very luc lucrative business because fresh flowers are on demand yeah in hotels that means almost every day yeah so um yeah and for hotels for example we do what we call we offer a service called florist services so florist services is 
uh, let's say we we are partner up with the hotel, mm. so we deliver to them once a week. Mm -hmm. Uh, so the thing you have to learn is like uh, export quality flowers should last you even up to two weeks. Oh wow! Yes, uh -huh. yeah. So when we deliver a bouquet to you or some flowers to you, it should last you up to a minimum of ten days, mm -hmm. and we replace at no extra cost if it with us. Wow! Yes, because of the quality of flowers that we we are trying to introduce to the Kenyan market. What happens is all the export quality gets sent out to, mm -hmm. you know, gets, gets ex exported. Mm -hmm. So we, are, we remain with flowers that have withered. So you get your flowers, after three days, it's in, it no longer serves you. Mm -hmm. So that's why you're like, oh, do I really need flowers? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, let me go back to florist services. So florist services mm -hmm. is, we provide the hotels with vases, we provide them with uh, um, the tools for arrangements, mm -hmm. like uh, unique, unique. Um, sometimes we use law goods to to make those designs. Mm -hmm. So we provide the hotel with that, so that you don't even, or even our customers, the office clients, mm -hmm. so that you don't have to mm -hmm. purchase a vase mm -hmm. every time. Maybe you're changing your theme. You don't have to. It's our job to mm -hmm. do that, to keep changing it up for you. So that's what we do. And then also what we do, we come and maintain those flowers. Mm -hmm. So let's say we deliver on Monday. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll be there around Thursday. So we make sure we wash the vases, uh, change whatever wow. needs to be changed. So that y it's like you've, uh, this service belongs to us. You don't have to, you know, have a fl in-house florist or you, you don't have to, you know, train your, um, train your waiters to do that. That's our job, mm -hmm. yes. Hey, that's, a, that's not even a service, that's an experience. Yeah, so we do that and then uh, we also like do for honeymoon, you know, you come and, you uh, know. Yeah, yeah. I just go and make it. So it's, it's quite a wide, yes. it's a wide range. <laughs> yes. So once you sign up with us, there's so many of, uh, offers we give you, mm -hmm. uh, services we offer you, so yeah. Wow. Yeah. And here I thought it's just a couple of days. And they wow. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. It's just out of curiosity. When, yeah. when you said you went for further studies, what exactly, what course did you study so that you understand what you do right now? So our, how I entered into flowers is I used, uh, I used to be an accountant in a flower company. Wow. Yes. Uh -huh. So, and then after that, I really loved flowers. And I figured, oh, okay, this is something I want to pursue. Mm -hmm. Then I started my business. And then after that, I went to, I, I did a master's in business creation and, and entrepreneurship. Wow. But I was lucky uh, when, while I was doing my master's, my part-time job was at a flower shop. Wow. Yeah. So everything just came together mm -hmm. for me in this industry. So you spent an, an X number of years as an accountant yes between before you stumbled upon your passion mm -hmm. and then you just went i was it. an accountant for i think the longest time hey but when you're not alone you you really you should really uh, i figured it out hey yeah. you there are not very many people who know what they want to do and are doing it well yeah and it takes time mm. it takes time because yeah uh, you panic sometimes uh, running a business is a bit hectic, and then there is panic and there is self doubt, mm -hmm. and you just have to, you know, motivate yourself and feel like, what do I want to achieve? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So the secret is always start at the end. This is the results you want. Then now oh. you figure out now to get here, what steps should I take? Hmm. It's it's funny that you said that because yeah. just the other week we were talking about imposter syndrome yeah. and imposter syndrome. It at a glance it sounds like something that would possibly just affect maybe someone who has very low self-esteem yeah. or or 
likes to keep to themselves but imposter syndrome is is for the very high achievers yes. that you you achieve something and then you sit back and am i really supposed to be here like do i deserve this they, eh, either you second guess yourself at every given moment or you're finding it impossible to just be content at where you are just always you're lacking sleep but you're doing the very best in fact there's someone thinking wow like i want to be like this person yeah. but you you're not seeing is there at one point that you have ever felt this way oh uh. Like twice a week. Wow. <laughs> uh -huh. oh, it's, uh -huh. oh, it's a feeling of self, like it's the self doubt I was telling you about. Mm. And sometimes you're like, because uh, you get a lot of, uh, I've been lucky. Mm -hmm. And uh, one of the things that uh, I've been lucky with is investors. Mm -hmm. I, I, I've gotten uh, a few investors who, want, who really believe in what I do. And who like, they tell you, okay, we want to see the books how can we inject more cash how can we do it then you know when you sit down you're like oh my god i'm gonna let them down what mm -hmm. am i doing what mm -hmm. am i doing mm -hmm. it's you are so anxious about it mm -hmm. and then you know I, I feel like um what keeps me going is like okay they believed in me let me just do my best mm -hmm. but also even sometimes when you do your best you feel like i feel like i'm not doing enough mm -hmm. yeah and when you stumble how do you pull yourself back together when you, when you're burnt out how do you you know rest and come back to zen uh, zen mm. <laughs> uh one of the things i do a lot is swim ah yeah mm -hmm. and then also like uh i like contrary to popular belief just being home mm -hmm. yes i can just you know binge watch a series and listen to a share <laughs> Every Friday we are outside. Kutoizo, Nini. Um. Yeah? <laughs> of course, once in a while, uh -huh. but yeah. yeah. So Kutoizo, my burnout, Nini. Mm. And then also, Izo, um, I just like, you know, to, to relax, to chill. And then also, you know, uh, to talk to friends about it. So one, um, I think I'm a big uh, talker. I, uh, not a talker, like uh, I share. Mm -hmm. And it helps a lot, yes. Mm -hmm. A problem yeah. shared is a problem. Yeah, now, so. or, or just maybe beach, <laughs> and then it's out of your system. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So then you're back to it mm -hmm. the following day. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, um, sometimes you, there's this ain't nothing to it but to do it. Mm -hmm. That's my motto like, okay, it's here, we have to face it, we have to do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we love what we are doing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I like that attitude. You must be very physically fit. Swimming is not for the weak, the tarts. Am I? No, I'm not. <laughs> okay, we will talk about this at a later time, but I, I honestly do think you're physically fit. Yeah. Because swimming is this, works everything, like all your yeah, muscles. Yeah, but I don't swim every day. Ah, okay. Yeah. Right. So Una unajitua tu makosa mwenye, najaribu kupatea compliment when I go offside, offside, offside. Huh? Ah, <laughs> I've seen you. Yeah. All right, tell me about this competition. Like, what what really are you competing for? Is it the arrangement or, or? the arrangements? Uh -huh. Yes. So, you know, um, most of the time we have um, just like any other like fashion competition. Mm -hmm. Also, the flower industry has a flower competition mm -hmm. where you know you arrange uh, like big arrangements car arrangements uh you know like wall arrangements mm -hmm. we do have those as well mm -hmm. yes so it's just to to show uh, to get you out of your head mm -hmm. and to you are a designer as mm -hmm. well mm -hmm. as a florist you're a designer as well you mm -hmm. need to learn okay what else can i do apart from just making a simple bouquet. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm sure you've seen that uh, there's these extravagance bouquets that are coming up. Mm. Yeah. So one of the so this um, these competitions are to see the designs. Mm -hmm. Yes. Do they do they have names like a particular de design or is it technique? Like, I, I there there are some techniques, uh -huh. and then like you know simple round bouquets or groupings mm -hmm. so there <laughs> there are some techniques and whatever and uh, names they call a certain um design mm -hmm. maybe groupings mm -hmm. so grouping is mainly uh, a design where you have grouped the flowers together 
uh, separately. Mm -hmm. And then it's different from like a simple bouquet where everything is mixed up. Mm -hmm. Yes. Do you have a favorite flower that you work with or that just depends on the client? Like is it roses, lilies, sunflowers? Uh, my favorite flower is called Lysianthas. Hey! <laughs> When, yeah, you know normal, flowers. <laughs> yes, yes, and uh, it's just a normal sweet flower. Uh -huh. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Eh, when everyone is, else is dying and fighting for roses, you are. Roses are very common. Very. Yes, and they are, um, they are common here. Mm -hmm. It's the same way uh, in Netherlands, uh, in Europe, these tulips. Mm -hmm. It's the same way we have roses here. It's the same way we don't have tulips here, mm -hmm. and you know they don't do a lot of roses. Mm -hmm. there. Yeah. All right. So we talked about how, let's say, okay, the setting we had was a hotel. So yeah. if you were to deliver flowers to a hotel, set minimum ten days before it starts showing any signs of withering. Yeah. Is that specific to a particular flower or just standard? Uh, uh, depends on the weather, actually. Uh, yes, mm -hmm. not uh, not the weather really, like how hot or how warm your place is, because the thing the flower should open up. So if it finds the correct uh, conditions, it's warm, uh, the sun is up all the time. Mm -hmm. Of course, something like rose a rose will just open up. Mm -hmm. So um, the difference between a good rose and a good quality rose mm -hmm. and just another normal rose mm -hmm. is. A, a good quality rose will open up mm -hmm. to start with the rain. Mm -hmm. Then the other one will just droop. Oh. Yes. So that it has withered, like it just droops. But this one just takes time to open up and open up till the petals fall off. There was one, once upon a time, very, and, hey, near five lifetimes ago, there was someone in my life who their love language was flowers. Yeah. And at the time, I was very obsessed with roses. Yeah. But alwani mm -hmm. is that is that like a yeah, that's okay. That's yeah. how to preserve it. Yeah. Like it kind of just continues with the growth process. Yeah, yeah. Wisdom, <laughs> wisdom. So yeah. I know these things, yes. guys. Yes, flower know. food is just like sugar. Oh. Because yeah, it's uh, the sugar is like flower food, so it will just continue opening up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Until and then now, okay. Again, I'm heavy on the roses because that's what we are used to in the market, yes, in the yeah. Kenyan market. So mm -hmm. when, when the petals, you know, fall off, it's opened up all the way. Yeah. The petals are falling off. Now when we dry them, we can use it at potpourri. Mm -hmm. Is that something that we can do with other flowers? Like, are there petals after they've gone, are they yeah. useful in any other way? I, th I think so, depending on... Because there are some that uh, you can't dry them. But yeah, other flowers, when uh, when the petals fall off, you can always uh, dry them, mm -hmm. yeah, and use them for deco mm -hmm. or stuff like that, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm. Guys, Kwangin Zisana, wisdom, wisdom. <laughs> right, we're gonna take a very, very, very short break, and then we'll be back. And I'm hoping that we can play a little, little game with Meli. I'm very excited. Okay. Yeah. Yes. 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 Are you excited? Remember to connect with us at White 54 on Facebook, White 54 channel on X, White 54 underscore channel on Instagram. And then do not go away. The interview is not over, okay? Introduce yourself just in case they have just joined us uh, halfway through the conversation. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, my name is Millie and I'm the CEO of Blooming Flowers and Gifts Kenya. Mm -hmm. And we deal mostly with fresh cut flowers. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, and if they're watching and they want to get in touch with you and uh, reach out for your services, how can they do that? Okay, uh, you can check out our website mm -hmm. www.bloomingflowers.co.ke. Mm -hmm. Or you can call us mm -hmm. zero one one zero six six nine two zero three. Okay. Yes. We will be repeating that number, so don't worry. <laughs> don't worry. Yes, and you can follow us on Instagram, Blooming Flowers Kenya. 
Oh. And Blooming Flowers Lovington. Hey. Yeah. You're quite specific. What's mm. mm. Lovington? What's your mother? I'm a piano overthink. You know, overthink it all. Sorry. Jamoa. Hey, boy. Well, I have feelings. Hey, there are places in Gideata who are pumua pole pole because the air smells expensive. Mm. Mm. All right, so we have a grouping, like I was told, um, of flowers right now. So what are we looking at? Okay, I can tell the yellow ones are roses. Yeah. Tick moja. Yeah. So, <laughs> so, at. so uh, you can see we have uh, the yellow ones mm -hmm. are roses. Mm -hmm. uh, the white ones mm -hmm. are called chrysanthemums. Chrysanthemums. Yes. Uh -huh. uh, the red ones, th uh -huh. these are standard carnations. Uh -huh. And these are gladiolas. Uh -huh. Yes. And the fillers are called astromeria. The, the astro, wow. Yeah. Okay. All right. Mm. Okay, so they bloom. You know, you asked the question, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. I like how she thinks. Eh, huh? astro, astro? Astro, astro, Maria. Astro, Maria. Mm. I'm a carnation. I'm a eh. carnation. I'm a gl gladiola. Oh, gla yeah, gladiola. See, do you have gladys already? Ah, yeah. Mm. Eh, 2.0. All right. Yeah. All right. Okay, so, so... What I'm looking at, when it comes time to bloom, do they all bloom differently? D does one bloom faster than the other, or it will just mature as I said? Uh, no, they bloom differently. Uh -huh. Yes. So, so you'll, you'll uh -huh. find that maybe the astromerias will f bloom uh, before the carnations. Mm -hmm. And uh, this one is called an arrangement. Uh -huh. So the arrangement is basically when, you, when we put a sponge Mm -hmm. uh, oh, the flower okay. sponge mm -hmm. inside. Yes, that's an arrangement. A bouquet is when it's uh, you have the stems. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's a bouquet. Mm -hmm. So that's the difference between an arrangement and a bouquet. Oh, yes. And, and there's usually like some wiring over there. That's yes, not yes. To hold it. I don't know my Lizona words. <laughs> <laughs> I'm now <laughs> operating with actions. Okay. So, yes. what are the tips to keep this? arrangement as is for as long as I possibly can. So uh, normally when we send you an arrangement, we send you with a flower food, a small sachet of some flower food inside. Oh. So you just uh, mix it with water and if you don't get the flower food, you can use sugar. Mm -hmm. uh, you mix it with water and uh, make sure the sponge is always moist. So you can like put half a cup of water every day. Mm -hmm. Yes. And I'd be pouring. Evenly. Yeah, you just yeah you pour it inside, mm -hmm. not outside the the uh, the flowers. Okay. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> you don't to make sprinkle. The <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You uh when you do that, you uh. can give the you are going to give it some spots. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Mm. You know, in the movies, how when someone gets a bouquet, the first thing they do is smell it. Do flowers actually have a scent? How many? Yes. Uh, okay. Visually? So we have we have scented roses and scent, scented flowers. Mm -hmm. So because of commercialization, you'll find that uh, most of the flowers nowadays they're trying to remove the smell. Mm -hmm. So you'll find like even these roses probably don't have a smell right mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. So you have to request for scented oh. because of allergies. Coma so they oh. don't. So uh, scientists or farmers, agriculturalists mm -hmm. have um, come up with these roses. Mm -hmm. They don't have smell. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they don't have. Or if, if they have a smell, it's quite subtle. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's not as strong. Mm -hmm. So because of allergies, mm -hmm. yeah, to pollen, to the smell, and now because we want to commercialize it, mm. yes. It's not like the ones you plant at home that you can even smell from a mile away, mm. yes. Okay, that, that was brand yeah. new information. Yeah. So while we were on the break, guys, we were talking about, or other, uh, my very, very able producer of the day was asking the weirdest thing that weirdest kind of request you've gotten from a client and and please repeat it for the <laughs> audience because i was quite amazed uh it? no okay uh we we do a lot of gifting and i think uh, some of the weirdest requests we get like um people want to send gifts anonymously mm -hmm. without uh, putting their names mm -hmm. and sometimes that can bring a lot of uh, commotion because the, you'll find the recipient doesn't want to 
a gift from someone they don't know. Wow. Yeah. Would you receive an anonymous gift? Would I? Depends, what is it? If it's flowers, uh -huh. it's very challenging because uh -huh. um, it depends on what the flowers are saying. <gasps> That's another thing. Yeah. Okay, so different flowers have different meanings. Yeah. Off the top of your head, give me like three. The flower and its meaning. Okay. Uh, like red roses, of course, we all know. Mm -hmm. uh, that's basically for love. Mm -hmm. Um, white roses, apology or sympathy, mm -hmm. yeah, and then we have pink roses, uh, that's for friendship. Oh, yeah, what happens when they come all mixed together? Is that just ignorance, or is that also sending a certain type of message? It's a party, <laughs> ah, okay, 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 it's a party, okay. yes. Because uh, if, like, you know, we have like sunflowers, sun, sunshine bouquet, it's just you know something light to tell you have a good day, have a bright day or something like that. Uh -huh. Or especially when you want to say congratulations, we use a lot of sunflowers. Oh, yeah. so if I, <laughs> if I got promoted and got like this amazing uh, Bouquet gig. of sunflowers, so yeah. You get, okay. Mm -hmm. oh, can you get ready to send me sunflowers, guys? I'm manifesting something. <laughs> quickly, quickly. Hashtag yeah. WCW. All right, so now, as a very important question I was going to ask you now. You've confused me a bit. Hey, hey. Kuna mawa set, guys, in case you've missed it. And we have determined different uh, flowers bloom differently in this particular arrangement. And yeah. it's called an arrangement when kuna sponge and the wiring to place it to get to hold it together rather than bouquet is the one that has the stems. stems. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready to get into this <laughs> business. I'm so ready to get into this ah, business. You can be a florist now. Ah, just <laughs> train me for a couple more weeks so that I'm, I'm good to go. Okay, yeah. all right. Yeah. Ah, sina <laughs> mtoto wangu wa kwanza. Astromeria. Astromeria. Where? Okay. Astro. Astro. Mm, eh. Short name. Astro. Astro kuja hapa. I can manif I can hear it already. <laughs> well, all right. Yeah. Uh, I w I won't finish this with a riddle. Like, well, I was going to ask you something really important though. What, what happened? I got too excited with the anonymous gifts. No. Uh -huh. Anonymous gifts. No. The weirdest thing. It's going to come to me. Give me a And second. do men receive flowers? Yes, they do. Yes, there we go, there we go, that's what I wanted to ask. So previously, I was telling us, uh, we were discussing how, and this is something I've seen for myself, I, I've been around people whose love language is flowers, so I get it, but I also see a lot that it's not, it's, it's, or rather it's absent in our culture. Mm. However, it was very sexist of me to believe that it's just females who receive flowers. Even men get flowers. Yes, men receive flowers. Okay. And send men flowers. Now, okay. Benja, chill. <laughs> <laughs> I will send you flowers. Let me first figure out what kind of flowers to send you. So, okay. Now, uh, toxic masculinity, I don't think wants yellow anything. So yeah. what am I supposed to send him? We have phone? some blues. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So if this was an arrangement to send specifically to a man... Yeah, we'll put some blues uh -huh. and then we have something like uh, some rough flowers. Mm -hmm. no, okay, not rough, roughish. Mm -hmm. They have an edge mm -hmm. that we mix them together. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So not so dainty, yeah. not, not screaming feminine. No, no. But generally, I care about you. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And then, is it us or... Is it just me who thinks that flowers are very, very expensive? Is, is it out of most people's reach? Mm. I would say it's the purchasing power. Mm -hmm. Yes. It needs a... Like a... When you talk about like a... It's, Purchasing power. Some people have the purchasing power to purchase the flowers. Mm -hmm. Some feel like um, it's a, it's a, it's against the wallet. Mm -hmm. But uh, we have made it affordable. Mm -hmm. Like we, for us, we have um, as low as like seven fifty for a bouquet for a small bouquet. That's sometimes. not bad. Yeah, yeah. Not so we've bad. we've really tried to calm down to make it affordable for everyone. Mm -hmm. Yes, and. Uh, 
yeah, the significance of the flower itself. Like uh, I was talking to one of our, our very good clients mm -hmm. and we make really good arrangements for him. And the thing is, I was telling him like uh, the best gift you can give to the richest person in the world mm -hmm. is flowers. Mm -hmm. My thoughts is because even if you say like, oh, let me buy them, uh, let's say uh, a whiskey, for example, mm -hmm. for them, maybe they, they are so used to this ex uh, like very expensive that you cannot afford that, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. So something like nice, they can enjoy with the whole family and yeah, that's it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Actually, I don't know if you to go in sync. Do you want to say that you can afford it? I can afford it. It's you I'm talking to. Don't, don't time the channel. It's you I'm talking to. Come on, I'm going to buy This mm -hmm. one is not so bad, though, so just enjoy it kindly. I'm going to stay here. Yeah, and enjoy it with the family. Hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Bana, mm. change it up, switch it up, man. Mm. Is there off peak and on peak season? I'm assuming like days like Valentine's. Uh, yeah, days oh, that's the that's the peak. Mm. Mother's Day, International Women's Day. Uh -huh. yeah, everything to do with women. Women's, yeah, <laughs> and then now uh, Christmas time. Mm -hmm. Yes, oh. yeah, because you know, uh, like a lot of people are wishing their clients, they are wishing their relatives who are near and far, mm -hmm. uh, like a um, Merry Christmas. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, we'll start with buying men flowers. Yes, so start support with the boy child. <laughs> yeah. Benjo Mesquia. Mm, sour. All right. Nani metata Benjo son. It's like there are no other men in studio. I'll buy for you flowers. Sour. All right, so I want us to finish with at least one riddle. I, I don't know where time has gone. Yeah. Hey, my time flies when you're having fun, Buana. All right. All right, so let's say two. Right, two. Right. Oh, let's see. Uh -huh. That the promise they're simple. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. So what has four legs but can't walk? Has four legs, but can't walk. A chair. Uh, table chair. A yes, table. yes, yes, yes. <laughs> but you got it. Okay. Hey. Oh, hey. Okay. You are smart. Okay. Uh, eh. Wait, wait, wait. He had a missing guess. Now that book could have taken to many money and get like any better. All right. What comes once in a minute, twice in a moment, but never in a thousand years? Like we'll see think. Like the answer is just literally it's just phrased. What difficult. comes? What comes once in a minute, mm. twice in a moment. But never in a thousand years. Hmm. Heartbeat. Sorry. Heartbeat. No. It's uh. It's. It's. Let me say it one more time, and then I'll give you the hint. It, it comes mm. once in a minute, mm -hmm. twice in a moment, but never in a thousand years. And it's al It's part of the alphabet. Once in a minute, twice in a moment but never in a thousand years. What is it? The letter M. Hata missing a guess. Minute M. I. Uh, hey. You see? You see? You see? You see? Uh, I don't know. Those don't know. shouldn't be riddles. <laughs> <laughs> Brain teasers. Mm -hmm. All right. OK, last one. Last mm -hmm. one. Um, OK, so it doesn't have an answer. So I'm, I'm tall when I'm young and short when I'm old. What am I? Tall when you're young. Yeah, and it's it's a thing. I'm tall when I'm young and short. Is it a candle? Old. Ah, sis, yes. Ah, malize apple. To malize two apples. This is wonderful. Ah, look at you. Not I'm just clever. a pretty face. Not just a pretty face. All right. Yeah. Uh, let's wind this up and and please once again tell us how to find you someone who's maybe quite interested in purchasing something of yours. So uh, you just follow us on Instagram, mm -hmm. Blooming Flowers Kenya, and Blooming Flowers Lavington, and check out our website www.bloomingflowers.co.ke. Mm -hmm. And my name is Millie and. Uh, Looking forward to serving you. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> All right. You can clearly tell you're going to have a service with a smile. Yeah. And based on what I have been hearing, it's not going to be just a service. It's going to be an experience. 
Yes. I think we need at least one of those in our lives, no? Especially with beautiful things coming in. I, I don't want this interview to end, but all good things do come to an end. At Y54 on Facebook, Y254 channel on X, Y254 underscore channel on Instagram. We will be back in a couple of minutes to finish the day's show with a very interesting conversation. Please do head to our social media platforms and answer the question asked. We will be with you shortly. See you in a bit.